Welcome to this week's Weekly Beat with the fabulous Stephen Salmon. Stephen Salmon, a not only amazing Brooklyn Music Factory teacher, but also a professional musician outside of these walls. Stephen, you're going to show us something very important today, aren't you? Yes, I am. What are you going to show us today? I'm going to show you how to tune the guitar. Because if you spend all this time practicing music, if it doesn't sound right, if it doesn't sound good when you actually get it right, like, what's the point? Why, why put all this work into it if, like, I'm gonna play you a perfect E chord, and... Oh. And it's just like... I can't, I can't make it stop, make There it stop. are at least three ways to tune a guitar. Can we please show the fine people of Brooklyn Music Factory the way number one that you would recommend to tune your guitar? The, I think, the easiest and the most reliable way to tune a guitar is to get something like this, an electronic tuner. And if you have an electric guitar, it plugs right in. If you don't have an electric guitar, it has a microphone on it so that it will still give you the same thing. So you can tune an acoustic guitar with this too, or a bass, an electric tuner, electronic tuner. So I'm gonna go string by string. Oh, if you're playing an electric guitar, make sure your volume's up or it won't work, nothing will come out. So I'm gonna start with the E string, the high E string. And it's showing me that yes, I'm playing an E, but it's too low, it's flat. The red light's on, it's flat, it's too low. I'm gonna go really slow until I get it right in the middle. Look at that lovely green light. Look at that green light, that's how you know. So when you get the green light, you know you're good. And this will tell us if we're flat, it'll also tell us if we're sharp, which is up above the middle. There's a needle here. See the needle? It's too high. I gotta bring it down. Until I see the lovely green light. You can tune every string that way. Steven, if you don't have one of these tuners, what is another way that you could tune your guitar? If you have a keyboard at home or a piano, mm -hmm. you can use your keyboard and you can tune by ear. So like if I was to play an E, or maybe a little bit higher. Sure. They sound the same, because I tuned this string already. Okay, and then a D. How about a D? That's another totally reliable way of tuning your guitar, and it's kind of good ear training practice too. If you can find those notes on the piano, E, A, D, G, B, E, and you can tune by ear. Okay, Stephen. So, let's just say, no tuner, no tuner, and no piano. No piano. What do we do? You can always, always tune a guitar to itself. On a desert island. This on is a desert, desert island. island tuning yeah, technique. Yeah, you have to be on a desert island to do this. You can't. D I T T. Can't do that desert desert island tuning technique. Ah. <laughs> They're just coined the it. The dit method. Them. <laughs> okay, so you can go to the one, two, three, four, five, fifth fret. That happens to be a G. Okay, that's not the same. That should be the same. So. And make them sound exactly the same. So, Stephen, just to be clear, yes. if you want to tune the guitar to itself, you press the string on the fifth fret, the and fifth then fret. you match that note with the next string that in its own. There's something to something with the B string where that doesn't quite work. Yeah, the B string has to go and be all different. Would you just run through from the E string, and then when you get to the B string, show us how it changes? Yeah. So I'm going to tune this guitar to itself.
get to the B string, the fifth fret is not going to work. It's not even close. You got to go to the fourth fret. All these other strings are tuned in fourths. The B string is in a third. We're not even going to go there. To tuning your B string, play the fourth fret of your G string. Weekly Beat on the Street. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Weekly Beat on the Street. Weekly.